What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a couple of re-uploads because my Witcher Captain build and my Speed Slayer build are kind of like, I don't know what happened to them. They were uploaded fine, 1080p, great quality, and then right around when quarantine started, they went to crap and they went down. They couldn't be played over 360 and it, they have never been fixed and I don't know what's up with that. So this is just kind of like a redo of that and like an update. So Witch Hunter Captain, his passive ability. Witch Hunt, tagged enemies take an additional 20% damage, does not stack with similar effects. So you can tag elites, specials, monsters, and they take a little more damage. Pretty nice. His career skill, animosity, Victor pushes back nearby enemies and boosts nearby allies' critical hit chance by 25% for 6 seconds. Nice little uh, team ability there. He's also got Eternal Guard, no light attack, block cost reduction um, from frontal attacks. So, or not reduction, but block cost. He's basically got 100% block cost reduction for light attacks from the front. He's also got Killing Shot, uh, critical hit headshots instantly slay man-sized enemies. That works for range and melee, by the way. Um, for this build, I like Walking Judgment, damaging multiple enemies in one swing with a melee weapon, grants temporary health, maximum five enemies. I'm never a fan of heal share, you make no temp health, um, you have to pretty much heal all the time and it's just a big pain in the ass. Um, Hunter's Ardur is another one. Uh, melee critical strikes and headshots restore two temporary health, uh, crit headshots restore twice as much. So this is kind of like more of a high skill thing I think. Um, if you're someone who's very really good at getting headshots, and I mean this guy does crit quite often, um, that could be something to look at. But I think this one for the everyman is a, a bit simpler, a bit easier. Um, pretty nice. Down here, I'm going to be using the rapier, and Flens works really great with the rapier because it's nice and fast. And basically, um, enemies bleed for extra damage. That you know, charge attacks, light attacks, it all works the same. Flens is great. Um, it's a little better for hordes. Death Knell would be like if you want to prioritize elites a little more. Uh, increases headshot damage bonus by 50%. So if you're just looking to like, go for those elites, get those uh, charge attacks going, you're good with the headshots. Uh, Death Knell is something very good. I use this when I use the bill hook on him, but this is a pretty good one. He's got Repost here. Blocking just as an enemy attack is about to hit causes your next melee attack within two seconds to be a guaranteed critical hit. I don't find I use this one quite often as I am just attacking non-stop. I'm not really blocking all that much um, with Witch Hunter Captain, and I'm certainly not trying to time my blocks to do more damage, so I don't need this. Um, he's got Mainstay, uh, he's got Enhanced Power, but I think the best one for him down here is Assassin, because this one gives 40% bonus damage on headshots and uh, um, uh, critical hits. So if you have Death Knell, you can add up that damage, it's really nice. Um, or you can just go for Flans and still get pretty decent headshot damage. Assassin's probably the best uh, talent here for him. Uh, and then down here, Wild Fervor, in my opinion, is his best talent. Witch Hunt grants 5% increased critical hit chance for the entire party for 5 seconds when a taggable enemy dies. So when you tag that elite that takes 20% more damage and you kill it, the whole party gets boosted crit chance for 5 seconds, 5%. Super nice. He's also got Heretic Sighted. Tagging an enemy increases attack speed by 10% for 15 seconds. Uh, that's just for you, and it's not like a terrible talent, but I mean, does it beat out crit chance for everybody? I don't think so. Uh, he's also got Templar's Knowledge. Uh, Witch Hunt causes enemies to take an additional 5% damage, so 25% uh, instead of 20% for Witch Hunt. Not really all that great. Um, actually, used to use this one when I first started playing, but I think Wild Fervor is by far the best talent for him. Uh, and then down here, the first one is Charmed Life, just 20% more dodge range. Nothing special. I don't think that's super useful on him personally. Uh, he's also got Always Prepared. This is a decent one if you're going to be uh, like using the Brace of Pistols or something like that. Um, if you if you feel like you want to spam those more, this is you know more ammo. It's fine. It's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you're going more the melee route, I think Castaway is an absolute must. Pushing an enemy increases stamina regeneration by 40% for 2 seconds. This works really well if you lead off your like attack sequence with a push hit, because it's you know, it'll, it'll push and then you'll just do a little slash slash, you know, and you can kind of keep repeating that, you'll keep your stamina coming back. So if you happen to take like a charge attack, after you do one of these, the stamina will come back nice and quick, and you won't get caught with your, uh, your pants down, basically. And then down here, I shall judge you all. Um, applies Witch Hunt to enemies hit by animosity. So if you 
um, you know, when you ult and you knock everybody back, um, those that are hit take 20% more damage. Uh, pretty nice. He also has the Unending Hunt, hitting 10 or more enemies with animosity refunds 40% of the cooldown. Um, and then my personal favorite here, Fervency. Animosity grants uh, Victor guaranteed melee critical strikes for the duration of the ult. Uh, just a thing to note with this one, um, if you do choose this one, you will not give your party 25% uh, increased critical hit chance. This is just uh, for you, for like the, uh, the, the murderous uh, human inside us all. Um, but honestly, all these ultimates are really not that bad. Um, these two are more like team play things. This one, you know, you get it back sooner. This one, they take more damage. But I think this one is probably just edges him out a little bit the best uh, because he just is able to crit everything. And if he gets headshots, I mean, things are going to drop, you know. This is a super great talent. For the equipment, like I mentioned, I run the rapier. Crit chance, attack speed, swift slaying. This thing's fast when you crit. It's going to be even faster. It's great. I love the Brace of Pistols, Power of Chaos, Crit Chance, Scrounger on this one. You can also go Hunter if you just want to do more damage. Scrounger's good if you're not running, um, what's it, always prepared, because that way you can just get like more ammo back when you crit. Pretty nice. Um, the necklace I actually go for health, block cost reduction. I have natural bond on here, but you can go for Boon Shally or Bark Skin. He can do pretty much anything. Um, but I go for block cost reduction on here simply for being able to deal with like charge attacks or heavy attacks rather. Um, just so I don't get like, you know, whomped on if I take like three or four at once. Um, I can deal with that a little bit. Uh, the charm, I go for powers chaos. Uh, they have more health than Skaven, so it kind of makes sense. And also that applies to Beastmen as well. Uh, attack speed. <laughs> for the rapier, why not? And then Concoction, I believe his ultimate cooldown is about a minute 20. Concoction will take um, a minute off, so you'll have like 20 seconds left. You can do Decanter, I guess, if you want, but I mean, it's pretty long. I think Concoction makes the most sense. Um, you know, proxy might not be too bad, but I think you're gonna, if you're going for that, that, uh, that big crit damage, I think you want to at least get that ultimate back or get it close to getting it back, so Concoction is what I like there. And then the Trinket. Curse Resistance, Crit Chance, Shrapnel. I almost never change this for anything. I will note that Shrapnel does not stack with um, Witch Hunt up here for that 20% damage. So if you want to run like Grenadier or something, that's fine. I just leave it on Shrapnel because I'm lazy. But, you know, you can really do whatever here for the bomb trade. It's not super important. Um, but yeah, that's my Witch Hunter Captain, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I guess there's been a couple changes since uh, the last video I made, but pretty much the same. Hopefully this one stays in good quality this time. Thanks guys. Take it easy.